Thank you for clicking on my video. I started this channel way back in 2017, but I didn't find any growth until I started posting Smash Brothers mods. Despite this though, my non-Smash videos still don't get too many views, so I am offering Smash mod requests to those who can find the following images scattered in this video and post the times that they appear in on my Discord server in order to encourage people to watch my non-Smash videos. Thank you for the support everyone and God bless. Hey everybody, Otaku Hedgehog here, and welcome to episode 20 of our Pokemon Blue Kaizo playthrough. So, in the last episode, we finally freed a Silk Corporation from the dreaded Team Rocket. However, it was a really difficult battle as we got lost in that maze of a building quite a lot, and we also lost once to Giovanni with his cheating Zapdos and cheating critical hits. I swear, it's like the game. I think the Kaizo team may have made it so that enemies get critical hits easier than normal. Or it could just be a Gen 1 mechanic. Actually, it's probably the later. Because I heard um, critical hits in this game are based off your speed and not random luck. But anyway... Um, yeah, so we got the Master Ball from the Self Corporation. And we also are now ready to take on uh, Sabrina, I believe that's her name, as the sixth uh, gym leader. I just realized, I forgot to look up what are safe items to uh, toss away, because we're out of space in our computer. Um, I guess I'll just toss away old key items I don't need anymore, like the card key. Oh, we also got Lapras from the last episode. I was debating whether or not I should train Lapras or continue using Blastoise. But Blastoise is already one of our strongest Pokemon. He's at level 76, and Lapras is only at level 15, so... It's gonna take... It'll take a really long and painful time to train Lapras to level... Uh, 76 without using exploiting glitches, which I don't want to do aside from ex uh, aside from the item duplication glitch to get more TMs but Yeah, I figure I'm gonna continue using Blastoise But things get harder and I need a more tanky water type Pokemon then I'll start training um, Lapras in a off-camera grind fest or not off camera, but speed it up, Grindfest. People should be flocking back to Saffron now. Alright, now that Team Rocket is gone, we can now explore Saffron City and talk to the citizens and see if they're gonna give us anything. Hopefully they'll give us something. Ooh. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. TM29. Hmm, what's that? TM29 is psychic. It can lower the target's special abilities. Awesome. Okay, yeah, that's one of the best TMs to have. I knew you'd get uh, that TM in Saffron City, but I was expecting to get it from Sabrina. Guess not. Yeah, Team Rocket is gone. It's safe to go out again. Wow, Team Rocket had this whole town terrorized. You beat Team Rocket all alone? That's amazing! Let's see... Thank you for writing. I hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. I say, I think I already spoke to these people. The copycat is cute. I'm getting her a Poke doll. I was giving... I was given a PP up as a gift. It's used for increasing the PP of techniques. Alright. So, um, I guess I'll ask the question of the day. Which was the hardest Pokemon boss for you as a kid? I thought about asking this since we had such a difficult time with the Giovanni yesterday. Well, yesterday for me, because I recorded the last episode yesterday. My daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname Copycat around here. 
So like I said before, I grew up with uh, Pokemon Sapphire as my first game. My daughter is so self-centered, she only has a few friends. So, and because I was a noob, I didn't really know how to play Pokemon during my first Pokemon Sapphire playthrough. I was stuck for like the longest time in, in the Elite Four. More specifically against the Dragon type user in the Elite Four. So I'd say he was definitely one of my hardest boss fights. But um... This is a rare Pokemon, huh? It's only a doll. What kind of Pokemon is that, I wonder? Hey, the doll just moved! That doll is alive! But anyway... Aside from the Dragon user in the Pokemon Sapphire Elite Four, I also had a difficult time in the Pokemon Coliseum. You're among them all. Who's the fairest one of them all? I had a hard time with a lot of bosses in Coliseum. A game with Mario wearing a bucket on his head. Mario wearing a bucket? Are they referring to... Super Mario Land 2? The Game Boy game? Which Wario debuted in? Oh no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm? Quit mimicking me. But that's my favorite hobby. I missed the first sentence. She said, Hi, do you like Pokemon? Oh no, I just asked you. Oh. Our character spoke for the first time. Anyway, I had a lot of... I mean, I had a hard time with a lot of bosses in Pokemon Coliseum. But again, I was stuck for the longest time against that game's Elite Four, if you'd say. I saw a rocket boss escaping Sylph's building. Oh, but the hardest boss for me, it wasn't... It was towards the beginning of the game was... I think his name was Mirror B. He had a bunch of Ludicolo. And I had no flying or poison type Pokemon with me, so I had a really difficult time with him. I flew here on my Pidgeot when I read about Sylph. It's already over. I missed the media action. Okay, no one's giving us anything. Just that TM Psychic. Yeah, that's gonna be a great TM for, uh... Fighting Dojo. That's gonna be a great TM for Gengar to have. Unfortunately, our Gengar is pretty under-leveled right now. I know Gen uh, Psychic and Thunderbolt are good moves for Gengar. Okay, can you use Surf? I mean, can you use Cut when you're surfing? I don't know if you can. Let's see, there's two gems. This one's the Fighting Dojo, and the one to the right, I believe, is the Psychic Gym. Oh, man! Ooh-ha! You're trespassing in our Fighting Dojo! So, the Fighting Dojo isn't a real gym, it's more like a mini gym. Uh-oh. He has a single 10. Oh, man. This is a bad matchup. Alright, his explosion. I wish you could somehow still get experience points after you use explosion. But oh well, at least we get money. Okay, I cannot have Golem in front because... Rock-type Pokémon are weak against fighting types. At least they are in later gens. I don't know if they are in this gen. Okay, yeah, I already spoke to these guys. Just want to double-check. Oh boy. 
Hey, right, Blastoise. I'm gonna switch you out. Oh, actually, I should put, um, Hidgeot in front. I just realized, um, Snorlax is gonna be at a disadvantage as well. Oh, well, good thing we have our Pidgeot with us. Okay, another single ten. Hopefully none of these fighting Pokémon know Rock-type moves. Alright, will this one shot? Yes. Judge one point. I don't know what he means by that. Is he giving me a 1 out of 10? If I didn't even get hurt by his Pokemon, I should have been a 10 out of 10. Ooh, Polyrath. He may know ice attacks. Alright. And he's a stage 3 Pokemon. Okay, but we still one-shotted him. Yeah, I stubbed my fingers. Hard, take your shoes off. Let's see, in the normal game, after you complete the fighting dojo, you're able to take either a Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan. But... I wonder how it's going to be in this Kaiserom hack. Like, maybe they changed the Pokémon a bit. Because I already have both a Hitsmonlee and a Hitsmonchan, so I don't need either. Oh, but then again, I wonder if they're going to be at high levels. Oh, but I don't really care, because I have the Machamp. I am Bruno, the new leader of the dojo. Otaku. We will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! Wait a minute, Bruno. Isn't he a part of the Elite Four? Oh, no. You hoodwinked me. You threw me a curveball, Bruno. Oh, I hope he doesn't use Explosion on me. Okay, it's not Explosion. Please don't get paralyzed. Okay, good. Alright, Golem is down. Primate. Okay, back to Pidgeot. I don't know if you guys heard that. It's a really loud motorcycle outside. I understand motorcycles have to be loud so that people can hear them on the street and on the freeway. But it's really annoying when they wake you up when you're sleeping or something. Done. Dude, half of this team aren't even fighting types. Yeah, so that's how I was saying. I was trying to debate or decide between Blastoise and Lapras. The um plus side about Blastoise is that he can learn Earthquake to help him against electric types. Um, but he's pretty much SOL if he comes across other water types that may have electric moves, such as Starmie. Ooh, this Polyrath is strong. Meanwhile, Lapras, Lapras is part ice, so he gets, um, stab bonus when, um, he's using ice type attacks. Um, in addition to that, he also has a lot more HP than Blastoise. Oh wait, why don't I just use the Pokey Flutes? It's hard for me to concentrate when I'm talking. <laughs> 
and playing a game. But anyway, yeah, Lapras has more HP than, uh, why would you use Earthquake? Than uh, Blastoise, so that's a plus. But Lapras can't learn Earthquake, so Lapras is SOL when he's up against, um, electric type Pokemon. But Lapras can also learn electric moves as well as psychic. Muck. Why does Bruno have a Muck? What does Muck have to do with fighting? At least I can kind of understand with rock type Pokemon because they're big and tough, but a Muck? That's weird. Yeah, but like I said, I really don't feel like training am uh, level 15 Lapras all the way to level 70 something. That's gonna take away too much time. Alright. Ooh, nice. Alright, 76. How could I lose? Because half your team weren't even fighting types. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as our trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. I already have those Pokemon. Enemies on every side. What goes around comes around. Let's see, did they change them in Kaizo? Nope. You want the hard kicking Pokemon hit only? No. Hmm. I already have both of these Pokemon. Or whatever. I like Hitmonlee better. So I'll just get another Hitmonlee, I guess. Hitmonlee was sent to Pokemon Box. Can I take both of them? I better not get green. <laughs> Who stay and train at Karate with us. I think I'll pass, actually. I want to read the statue. Oh, I can't. Okay, well that was pointless. I gotta withdraw Licky Tongue. Because I need to use his cut. Alright, let's see. We're going off against a psychic gym, so who's gonna be not helpful for us? All of our Pokemon will be good. So who's the weakest? Spyro. Rapidash. Okay, I guess I'll deposit Rapidash then. Alright, let's heal, just in case. Alright, so can you use cuts when you're on water? I guess you can. I wanna check, any items here? No. Alright. Let's see, they're probably gonna challenge me as soon as I come in, so... I'm gonna put Golem in front. Yep. You and I, our Pokémon shall fight. Or they could just be friends, you know? We don't need to fight. Alright. Haunter? That's not a Psychic type. Oh, Hunter outspeeds us.
Okay. Kadabra. Yeah, a lot of these psychic Pokémon, they have really strong special stats, but very low physical defense stat. Oh no! I forgot we we're still confused. Alright, Kadabra's gone. Oh, Mr. Mime. Is Mr. Mime gonna outspeed us? Yeah, he is. Mr. Mime probably knows an electric move. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, you're up, Spyro. So a headbutt. Ah, sweet. Oh man! I almost one-shot him. Oh well, at least he flinched. I lost after all. Let's see, can we dig in here? Awesome, we can. I can't believe it took me so long to figure out that you can use dig in buildings in Gen 1. I don't think you could do that in the later games. That makes things a heck of a lot more convenient. Alright. Yo, champ in making. Sabrina's Pokémon use psychic power instead of force. Fighting Pokémon are weak against psychic Pokémon. They get creamed before they can even aim a punch. Okay, let's see. Arrival's already been here. So are any of you... Hey, she should've teleported away on that panel. Were any of you creeped out by Sabrina in the anime? I know I was. Your Pokémon must be tough then. I can't remember the exact reason, but she like had like a younger duplicate that turned people into dolls. Oh man, bad matchup, bad matchup. Well then again, is, are ice Pokemon weak to rock in Gen 1? I can't remember. Why would you use Thunderbolt? I want to test to see if Ice is weak to rock in Gen 1. I should have just used Explosion on her, but oh well. Alright, Blastoise, you're up. Alright, let's go for a Paralysis. Ugh. This is why I really need an electric Pokémon like Jolteon. Lapras is beginning to be the bane of my existence. Oh, really? We get paralyzed. Man, Blastoise is tough. So tough they killed himself. Snorlax at level 69? I thought we raised him up. Oh well. Alright, Spyro, you're up. Alright, just hyper beam her. If you knew it, then why do you challenge me? Uh. Okay, Snow or Blastoise, do your thing.
Uh -oh. Sabrina is young, but she's also our leader. You won't reach her easily. You know, I just noticed in the regular Pokemon anime and in the Pokemon Origins anime, we never see any of these uh, lower level people in the Pokemon gym. It's normally just the gym leader himself. Oh man, Executor. This is bad. Let's just do explosion. Oh, we outspeed him, really? I was not expecting that. Oh no, slow bro. I really need an electric pipe. Alright, let's try to paralyze him. Hopefully he doesn't have amnesia. Alright, his attack missed. Come on, get paralyzed. Crit. He has amnesia. Oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. Come on, paralysis! Well, one of us got paralyzed. Alright, this may hurt. He used an amnesia. Oh man, I just realized I deposited, um, our fire type. Hmm. I guess that stick out with Blastoise. Alright. Let's go for the paralysis. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Ugh. Paralyzed. Alright, let's do Spyro. Gonna start out with a um, uh, Thunder Wave. Oh, she outspeeds us. Okay, good. Now we should be able to outspeed her. Let's try to make her flinch. Ah. Uh, Oh, she didn't use Blizzard, that's good. She would have one-shotted us if she used Blizzard. Ah, special foul. Luckily, Hyper Beam isn't... ...special. It's a physical attack in this game. I lost my concentration. What? He's a cheapskate. Only 690? How much more experience does Dragonite need to level up? Wow... Dragonite takes forever to level up. I think all the grass Pokémon did in these older games... When I say grass Pokémon, Dragon Pokémon... All of them took more experience than usual to level up. Because they're so strong. Which again begs the question, why did we need those stupid fairy types to completely nerf dragon types? I hope at least in the newer games, dragon types um, don't require more experience than the regular average Pokémon. Because they're nerfed by fairy types. Oops. Let's see, nope, nothing here. Oh man, this is gonna confuse me. You know that power alone isn't enough. Alright, another psychic. Okay, hopefully he doesn't know Ice Punch. Okay, psychic, we can deal with that. Ugh.
Let's take him down, yes. Oh no, a Starmie? He probably has electric moves. Man, why do all these people have water types? I should, um... I should check my Pokédex to see if you could find Eevee in the wild, because I couldn't find an Eevee that you're supposed to get in Celadon City. They must have changed it in, um, Kaizo. Great. Uh, Alright, Spyro. Let's paralyze him. Ah, uh, you wasted your turn. Let's do a headbutt. Hopefully he doesn't know any ice moves. Hmm. Pepper Beam. I don't believe this. Another che I don't believe this either. You're another cheapskate. Okay. Man, having to use these HMs over and over again is starting to get annoying. Our unseen power scare you? No, but it's starting to annoy me, considering the fact they're supposed to be psychic trainers and you have a bunch of water types. Alright, Cadaver, we can work with that. We're able to one shot an Alakazam, so Cadaver shouldn't be a problem. Mr. Mime, no problem. No! <laughs> Alright, oh, awesome, we woke up. Why are you people using thunder? You know I'm part ground. You know, Hypno. Can we tank this? Yes, we can. Ah, oh, man, he survived. All right, so I'll use party move Pidgeot. Hopefully this doesn't become a repeat of Zapdos. Alright. Awesome job, Pidgeot. Hopefully he doesn't have any electric moves, please. Oh! You know, it speeds us. Darn it. Ooh, that took a lot of damage. Okay. Now quick attack. I never foresaw this. And I never foresaw that all you people are so cheap! Okay... 
Alright, Blastoise. Time to swim. Let's see. Ah, uh, that must be Sabrina. Did I already fight him? There used to be two Pokemon gyms in Saffron. The fighting dojo next door lost its gym status when we went and creamed them. Oh, wow. Yeah, psychic Pokemon are strong against fighting types, so that does make sense. Did I fight him yet? Psychic Pokemon fear only ghosts and bugs. Yeah, but the only ghost types in this game, the Gengar family, they're part poison, so they're weak against psychics. And there are no strong bug moves in Gen 1. So yeah, psychics are OP. No! Okay, Pucky Flute. Alright, oop. Come on. Alright, Mr. Mime's down. Arg. At least he gave us a little more money. How do I get to Sabrina? Oh, wait, why did I do that? I think I did that already. Oh man, I hate these puzzles. Oh, man. Let's see. Maybe if I step on... on the tiles where... the trainers were... are looking at? Oh. Sabrina is younger than I. But I respect her. Ooh. Gengar, isn't he your guys' mortal enemy? Uh, no! It's not even stab! Let's see, will we outspeed Hypno? Flinch, flinch, flinch. Oh. Alright. Hyper Beam! Alright, Hypno's out. Not good enough. At least she gave us more money. Oh, 
All right. Out of my way, bush. Okay, I remember the last one that we went to, at least. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna save just to be safe. You're not gonna turn me into a doll, are you, Sabrina? I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic powers since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Sabrina wants to fight. Why does she have a whip? Okay, now is Rock strong against ice? I need to know. No, not Blizzard. Well, we're off to a good start. Oh man, Jinx outspeeds us. Even though we're a level higher. Ah! Oh, come on! Oh my gosh, why? Why is this happening? Body slam. Ah. Oh, my gosh. Why is she getting all crits on us? Something is not right. She's getting all crits on us. Let's try paralyzing her. Of course, she outspeeds all of us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She outspeeds us. All I can do is quick attack. Why does she keep spamming Blizzard? Well, I guess we lost. This will be the 11th loss for us. Okay, I guess I'm gonna need to start off with my, um, uh... I'm gonna deposit Snorlax, I think. Alright, that's our 11th loss. I'm gonna deposit Snorlax and get Rapidash out. How much money do we have? Yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to take some rare candies. What level is Spyro? Hmm. Lots of ways to go level up.
Alright, her candies. Where are you? Oh, which reminds me, I need to use up. Well, actually, no, I won't use them just yet. I was wondering using the HP up, but I may want to save that for the duplication glitch. Okay, I'm gonna toss out that soda pop. Let's give some the Spyro. Spyro takes forever to level up. Let's see. Crappy Dash has a ways to go to level up. Okay. Oh, I just realized, um... Fire does not resist ice in this gin. So that's... Could be a problem. Okay, back to this maze. If I can remember how to do this. Alright, this time I'm starting off with Rapidash. Hopefully we should have an easier time. Yeah, 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 sure you did. Alright, let's go with Flamethrower. Alright, we outspeed Jinx, good. Alright, awesome. Oh, my man. Swap, bro. Alright, here up Blastoise. Let's go for that paralysis. Yes. Awesome. Oh. Whatever. She wasted her turn. Should I use my paralysis heal, or should I continue fighting? I'm not sure. Ugh. Come on, get paralyzed. Try see if I can freeze him. It'd be great if I could get a freeze on him. No. Alright, that's okay. I can hyper beam him. Maybe I should go with head, but no, I don't want to risk it. Come on, hyper beam. Okay, slow so bros taken care of. Good. A hypno. Alright, Golem, you're on.
Let's do Earthquake. Yeah. Stay strong, Golem. Ugh. Darn it, a crit? Jeez. I thunder wave him. Yeah, alright, let's try to make him flinch then. Let's go for a hyper beam. Uh, we still outspeed him, even though we're paralyzed. Oh, not that I'm complaining. Executor. Let's see, maybe we could get a burn on him. He wasn't burned. Darn it. Ugh. Let's try to make him flinch. Darn it. Jeez. Jets. Go for a fly. Okay, good. Executor is out. A star me. I don't know. This is gonna be bad. Alright, Liggy Tongue. I'm gonna have to sacrifice you. I need to heal Dragonite of his paralysis. I want to take down Starmie. Wow, you just wasted your turn. Nothing Starmie's gonna be able to do at this point. Uh. Very good. Now I can switch into Dragon Knights. Hopefully, Starmie doesn't know. Blizzard. Let's try to make him flinch. Oh, darn it. Starmelt speeds us. Shoot. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Ugh. I guess a quick attack. I'll even do any damage to him. I can't revive Blastoise, can I? Yeah, the game won't let me. Alright, let's do fly. First star me outspeeds us. Alright, we lost again. Alright, it's up to my realization that I really need an electric type. Oh, man. Okay. 
So even though we lost, I'm actually going to restart. Because we lost, like, a lot of money to Sabrina. It's coming to the point in the game where I can't afford to lose money anymore. So I'm actually going to restart the emulator. And... What we're going to do, we're going to have to look for an electric type to take care of Sabrina Starmy and her slow bro. Because they're just way too strong for us at the moment. Let's see, where's the restart? Restart... Oh, here we go. Reset. Oh, how appropriate. I said that we need an electric Pokemon, and Zapdos pops up. I wonder, should I go after Zapdos? Let's see. Alright, we got all our money back, so that's good. Because I normally don't like to use legendary Pokemon, because I feel they make the game too easy, but... We are in a bit of a... Uh, troublesome <laughs> position right now. We need an electric type. Alright, how are my Pokemon doing? As I was saying, we need an electric type, and we have bought a villain who used a legendary, so using legendary Pokemon isn't technically cheating. Well, I mean, okay, using legendary Pokemon isn't cheating, period. I mean, they're in the game. You're allowed to catch them, but I just feel like it's kind of cheap because they're so strong. And in the regular games, no one else uses legendary Pokemon, but this is a ROM hack where we have had or we have seen Giovanni use a legendary Pokemon, so... I guess it wouldn't be so cheap if I were to use it. Power plant is over there. Alright. Okay, um, I want to see something. Where's Eevee? Can Eevee be found in the wild, in this ROM hack? Oh wait, oops. Area... Area unknown. Hmm, well I couldn't find him in, uh... In the Celadon City. Surf. I never ran into any wild Pokemon yet on the water. Eh, that won't work. I don't know what kind of wild Pokemon they are on the world. Hmm. So I can't remember how to get to the power plant. I know you need to use Surf, but... How am I supposed to get to it? Everything's cut off here. Maybe it's further down. Oops. 
see. No, we're completely boarded off. I can't get past there. Where's that super repel? Let me think. Let me look at the town map again. Our plan is over there, it says. Maybe I need to go up there? Hmm. I can't remember. Oh, I remember now. I have to go to the rock tunnel. Oh, it's not letting me fly there. Alright. Oh man, I need to bring a Pokemon on those cuts with me. Darn it. Alright. Oh, I already have a Pokemon with a cut. Mm. I wonder what level... I know in the original games, the uh, three legendary birds are at level 50, but I wonder if they, um, roast their levels in this game. Possibly not, because they didn't raise, uh, Snorlax's level. Apparently there's a hidden item here. I don't know where it is, though. As the item find was going off. get to that power plant. It wasn't here. Ah, right, here we go. We can surf now. Huh? Isn't the power plant supposed to be down here? they changed it in Kaizo? Oh my gosh. They changed it in Kaizo. Oh, why would they do that? Alright, so the game's not too easy for us to go after Zapdos. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So I can't get to the power plant.
Let me see. Hmm. Where's Eevee again? Eevee, Eevee, Eevee. Uh, okay. Can I find Jolteon anywhere? Hmm. Know where the Elite Four is. There was no Eevee for me to grab in um, Celadon City, though. Power plant's right here. Level 63 Electabuzz. Let's see, that's stronger than what I found at the, um, uh... In um, the safari zone. Maybe I should consider catching him, but. Can't escape! This Electabuzz knows Psychic. Okay, maybe he's worth catching. Dear thing. Got the Electabuzz. Oh, I should have saved. Because I'm not sure if it'll take us to. Okay, good, it does. see that Electabuzz. What kind of moveset does he have? Is he stronger than my others? Alright, Electabuzz, let's see your stats. Has high speed and a high special. Oh wow. Psychic, Thunderbolt, Ice Punch. Wow, this is a really good Electabuzz. I should consider training him. Let's see what else the power plant has in store for us. How strong is our Gengar? He's only level 60, he's under-leveled. I also want to look at that Pikachu that we got. Is that Pikachu no Surf, I wonder? No. There's a lot of electric moves. Eh? That's weird. My TV and Nintendo Switch turned on by itself. I don't know why I did that. Wait, what was I doing? Oh, I got the pass the Pikachu. Can withdraw. Go on.
All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna turn off my TV that turned on by itself. There must be a ghost in here. Maybe a Gengar's in here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, for some reason my TV turned on by itself. I think the Nintendo Switch turned on by itself somehow, which caused my TV to turn on, because the Nintendo Switch music was on. I mean, menu was open. So, whatever. Why is Blastoise in front? We should put Golem in front. to the power plant. This time I'm gonna save the game though. All right, let's see what powerful and rare Pokemon we'll find in here. Level 63, Porygon. Hmm. I know what moveset he has. So is he stronger than our Porygon that we already have? Oh. You may never know. Okay, I just want to get an idea of what his moves that is. Hmm, he knows recover. Too bad there's no way that you can just pass a turn in Pokemon. Instead, you always have to attack. Alright, sorry Porygon, you're not showing me that you're a viable option. Electabuzz is back. gonna work. Oh. Darn it. Alright, what's the fastest Pokemon in our team? Speed 161. Speed 136. Alright. Pidgeot's our fastest. Item finder, any items here? Let's see, is it just Electabuzz and Porygon down here? If it's only Electabuzz and Porygon, I might as well catch the Porygon too, since I already caught an Electabuzz.
Like the buzz will really help. Against Sabrina, oh, excuse me, I got hiccups. Alright, finally a Porygon's appeared. Alright. Nils Blizzard. That could be bad. Alright, I'll check out his stats later. This isn't a Voltorb. Oh, actually I have Pidgeot, so I can just run away, but... It might be helpful to catch a high-level Electrode or Voltorb. That's a Voltorb or Electrode. Do I have an Electrode? Oh, it's only level 53, though. Thunderbolt. Oh, man, I didn't mean to kill him. Oh, well. All right, level 63. He's just probably gonna explode on me, though. Okay, I have 35 Ultra Balls. I just... Ah. Yeah, that's a friend of that. Electrodes. Oh, that was 65. Okay. Sorry, another great ball. How do you miss an electrode? He's right there. I'm pretty sure that's Thunder. Are there really no items around here? No. Well, you electrodes give me a break. I'm just trying to farm for items. Okay. We're awake now. Rest. You're a great ball. Missed a Pokemon, which makes no sense.
Hmm. Okay, I gotta remember to explore to the right. Any new Pokemon? No, I already got you. Another electrode, really? Throw a poke? Nope. Ooh, wow. Snorlax's still alive. Oh! Wild Electrode. Hey, goodbye, Electrode. I'm running out of super repels. Another electrode, who would have thought? Okay. Let's headbutt him. Oh my gosh, really? I do not want him to get away. How did I miss him? Alright, Electrode was caught. Oh, I don't have an Electrode yet. Okay, then. Electrode, the ball Pokemon. It stores electric energy under very high pressure. It often explodes with little or no provocation. Hmm. I got a good one. Okay, I thought we already had an Electro, but I guess not. Okay, then, uh, let's update our decks. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, there we go. Probably gonna have to stop by the Poke Center, Pokemon Center again soon. I'll make a quick save, though. Since we got some new strong Pokemon. Hmm. All right, Nugget. So that area is clear. Did we already check this area? No, we have not. Oh, okay. TM33. Don't remember what that is. Alright. Here we go. First thing to do is revive um Golem. Then heal him. Let's see. Oh no, I'm gonna need a hyper potion for this. I didn't realize. Dragonite's paralyzed. All 
Alright, I'm also gonna make a quick save state. Alright, time to challenge Zapdos. We'll start by trying to paralyze him. I should heal. Give him Eliminate. Try to paralyze him with Dragonite, then switch into Golem. What? We've been hoodwinked! That's not Zapdos! Maybe he's a special ditto? And why is he weaker than all the wild Pokemon here? Pokédex still counts as a Zapdos. It does! Oh, no it doesn't. We already ran into Zapdos, I forgot. Alright, let's load. Go back. So it was just a ditto pretending to be a Zapdos? What a ripoff. Actually, maybe I should start with the head, but... Uh, so I could try to make him flinch. Yes. And Ultra Ball. Ditto was called... No, it's Zapdos. That was about. Maybe that Ditto has special moves or something, or special stats? I don't know. Oh, we didn't get Zapdos, but we did get a really strong, um... Oops, what am I doing? Did get a few strong electric type Pokemon, at least. Alright, I want to take a look at all the Pokemon that we caught. And I think I need a room for another. Okay. All these guys. He has really high speed and special, and a pretty good move pool. He has a stab thunderbolt, and 
Ice Punch for defense. Okay, he has some more mediocre stats. Blizzard Recover, Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave. Hmm. Dynamite. Oh, he's really fast. Explosion, Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think those stats are pretty high for a ditto? We're supposed to find Zapdos, but instead we got Ditto. Okay. Get back. Uh, I want Golem. I want to want Jet. And I want Spyro. I'm gonna want Trap Dash. Okay, hmm. Alright. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. What I'm gonna do in the next episode, I'm gonna start training Electabuzz. And maybe level up our other Pokemon a bit. That's so weird that we had a Ditto in place of Zapdos. What was up with that? Yeah, I want to at least get Electabuzz like level 55 or something, because we really need an we really need an Electric type on our team. In fact, that Zapdos or Electabuzz also knows Psychic is a plus plus. So I'm going to start training him in the next episode, and then we'll take on Sabrina again. And yeah, hopefully this time we should be able to beat Sabrina. So yeah, I look forward to that. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Pokemon Blue Kaizo, everybody. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope that you're all enjoying the series. So, as always, I'm Otaku Hedgehog. And I want you all to have a way past cool day. Bye-bye.